I'm going to look at some research articles and master theses and try to understand the titles and abstracts. It's very important when we read the title to understand the different components of, of, an, uh, of an article before even reading the whole thing. For example, let's look at this. Improving university students' English proficiency with digital storytelling. What are some components you can find in here? We can find the participants. We have university students. We're talking about English proficiency. So this is basically what we need to test whether the digital storytelling improves English proficiency. So, digital storytelling in here is used as an intervention, trying to find out it's whether it's improving. So basically, when we talk improving, it means the results showed that digital storytelling did improve these students' English proficiency. And we specify these are at the university level, students, university, students. Now, let's look at the abstract, the abstract of this research article. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to read through and to identify the different components of a research. I will mention them briefly. You can identify the purpose, the problem, the research questions, uh, the participants, the site, the data collection methods, data analysis, the research design, and the results. And that at the end, recommendation or conclusion. I'll give you a couple of minutes to read through and try to identify these different components. How many could you get so far? Three, four, they are more. Okay, 30 seconds more.
Okay, let's find out whether you got them all or not. Let's see. So, first of all, we had the purpose to investigate whether students of English were as a foreign language EFL at the Lebanese University LU can effectively improve their language okay by creating digital stories so this is the purpose of the study we're trying to find out whether digital storytelling is effective or not effective in improving the students, which students, these are EFL, so they are majoring in English education, where at the Lebanese University. Something else you can get, the site, the Lebanese University, you can also get the time, it's fall 2017-2018. Participants, who are they? 20 EFL students, second year. So we specified who they are. They are 20 students in their second year at the Lebanese University, fall 2017, 2018. Intervention, there was an intervention. This tool, the digital storytelling, DST, it was uh, optionally introduced however participants who took part in the study used the DST in the course so that's why we chose them okay so there were many more in the course but only 20 students participated by working on the DST data collection we had 16 individual and group DST videos. These were videos. The digital storytelling was a project. So we had all in all 16 individual and group videos. The results, the list of results by starting with the results show that until the, the end, speakers globally. That was the last part of the results and we also had a recommendation saying that oops, okay it's the last sentence saying that the positive result of the st we recommend that it is included in the different courses at the university so it should be part of the curriculum so see, we have different components in the abstract. We can have the different ones, we can see them, and we can work with them. Okay. Let's see. If we look at another one. The title says, A Survey of Student Perceptions of E-Assessment. This is the title. Let's see what you can get out of it. So, we had students' perceptions. It means we asked the students about their perceptions. So the participants are students using a survey. So that was a data collection. What did we ask them about? E-assessment, electronic assessment. We wanted to know their views, what they think of e-assessment by filling a survey. Now, let's look at the abstract of this article and see what you can get out of it also I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes try to find as many components as you can
I will scroll down in, in uh, half a minute so that you can read the remaining part. Actually, you can find this article, it was sent to you, so if it's easier for you to read from it, you can simply open it on your desktops. I'm going to show you again. the e assessment again voila okay here we go so I'm gonna scroll down so that you can read the remaining part. It's, there is a part which is not seen, it doesn't matter. So again, if you can open it on your laptops, that would be much better. Okay, if you want, you can pause the video, go to your article, read it, do it, and then check the answers in here. So, in this abstract, the author started with the background, saying that it's part of a project at the University of Bradford. So that was the background, okay? Then, he mentioned the site as well. It's the University of Bradford. The data collection was also mentioned. It's an online questionnaire. So they mentioned that it was an online questionnaire. And who filled it? Uh, so in here we it should be the reverse so here the University of Bradford and we have the time 2007 2008 then we have the data collection an online questionnaire participants they were 130 undergraduates so these are students at the University of Bradford 130 in their undergraduate level and they explained they took part in online assessment they are giving more information then they talked about the tool they described the tool they described this questionnaire and told us that it includes six parts okay it includes six parts six dimensions and they listed them okay from one till the end and then they mentioned the purpose. The purpose, which is the aim of the survey was to identify possible risks in planning, okay? E-assessment. So that was basically the purpose. Then you have the results. You have the findings, these are the results. Sorry for this, but it's Anyway, so 
the results you have the findings till the end and then they even when they concluded about the ages this is part of the findings now choice of title I'm listing in here three more titles I'm just trying to show you that choosing the words and the title is very important because when we read the title we have to understand the whole thing about the uh, research let's look at this one effects of offline versus online digital storytelling on academic achievement and development of literacy skills take a minute please and try to identify the different components of research what can you understand from this title So, first of all, it's very important to notice that we have a comparison. So we have offline story, digital storytelling, online digital storytelling. We are comparing among them and finding the effects, which one is more effective, offline or online, and where are the effects? We are studying the effects of offline and online digital storytelling on academic achievement and development of literacy skill. So here we have lots of variables and definitely this is a statistical uh, analysis, which means that this is a quantitative research. We are studying the effects of variables. Here we have relations among variables offline on academic achievement offline on development of literacy skill and another effect which is online on academic achievement online on development of literacy skill and then we compare which one is better so from just reading the title we can understand a whole research and this is definitely quantitative we have lots of variables and we're studying the relationships among them another one more titles attitudes of math and science student teachers towards using english as medium of instruction or emi emi is english as medium of instruction okay which is basically using english in math and science classes Again, take a minute and try to figure out what is the whole research about. Okay, so we have the participants, math student teachers and science student teachers, fine. We also have attitudes, which means we ask them about their views, their attitudes towards using English as medium of instruction, whether they are with using English in math and science classes so this is highly qualitative we're asking about their views their attitudes toward using english as medium of instruction right. let's try the last one
Take a minute and try to figure out what the whole thing is about. So, we have two types of students, EFL students, basically those who learn Arabic than English, and ESL students, those who learn, uh, sorry, EFL are those who are French educated, they learn Arabic, French, then English, and ESL, these are those who learned English after Arabic, the native language. University students, so we have two groups of students, EFL students, ESL students at university, and improve differently in pronunciation. This is the result. We are showing in this study that French educated and English educated students improve differently in pronunciation so we didn't have similar results as far as pronunciation the case of lebanon so the context is in lebanon this is a, Le a lebanese study and we are studying basically the difference the the pronunciation of these two groups and trying to find out which one improved more and we found out that they have difference in improvement this is basically the importance of titles we were talked about abstract